Well, it started actually in Kat Masad. We all sang uh, together in a choir. Yonatan Zak was the conductor. It was a council's choir. We loved it. And the uh, summer ended, of course, after two months. And we were still very thirsty. <laughs> it was an opportunity to sing every week. The songs that we could only sing in the summertime when we were in Masad. I had a little more experience than the rest of them because I had sung in more choirs. And so I, I stood up in front of them. Of course, I didn't know very much uh, what to do. I chose some easy two-part repertoire, uh, Hey Daroma, uh, Garin Katan, and I taught it to them by parts. We put it together and we started singing. I remember the feeling of walking into this room and first of all, there were a few people there that I had known from different parts of my life and I was surprised to see them there. But the main thing that hit me was the music the people were making. They were all young Jewish kids like me and they were singing choral music in Hebrew and I was blown away. It was an experiment on the second floor of the Jewish Theological Seminary small room. Uh, we couldn't have been more than 12 or 14 people when it started. I went down and I auditioned and when I got in I remember that the excitement about being accepted in the Zamir Chorale exceeded my joy at going to Barnard. It was just like wow I get to sing in this amazing choir. Zamir Chorale grew so quickly because there was a a vacuum. There, were, there was a, a, a gap there uh, as far as extracurricular activities uh, was concerned of f for, for Jewish college students. We grew from maybe initially uh, a dozen or so singers to I think in the heyday was uh, well over a hundred. And all of a sudden it, it became not just a musical experience, it became a social uh, experience. Being one of the original members was the most amazing experience, the most amazing feeling. I knew I was going to be able to sing, and I was going to be singing with the people I loved. I remember my first Amir rehearsal. I took the subway with my friend Satch Sanders all the way from Borough Park. We slept from Borough Park to the Upper West Side because we both knew that we would, we were desperate to sing in this choir called the Masad Choral Group. He came to Zamir, he, he was a music and art student in high school and uh, immediately I saw this guy was special. He was a cellist. Uh, he was an unbelievable musician. And he quickly became uh, uh, my sidekick. Uh, he, he became part of the musical staff, even though he was quite young. But he was a special talent. We wanted to call, we called it the Masad Choral Group in the beginning. And then Masad uh, decided that we could not use the name. We searched and we searched for a new name. And Moshe Avital, who had been at Camp Masad, came up with a brilliant solution. He suggested the name Zamir from the Pasuk, from the sentence in Shir Hashirim, the Song of Songs, Et Hazamir Higia, the time of the nightingale has come. He said, call it Zamir. He said, it's, it's a beautiful play on the word Zemer and Zamir, which is a nightingale. I said, wow, that's fantastic. So I kicked around with, 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 with the guys and girls, and everyone loved it. And so we took the name Zamir, Moshe Vital uh, gave us th that name. <laughs> 